Hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel on Engineering Mathematics. In today's video, we are going to see how to find Laplace transform of a constant. For that, first we see the proof of Laplace transform of number 1. That is, we are going to see how to calculate Laplace of 1. For that, let us recall the formal integral definition of Laplace transform of f of t. It is given by an integral of e raised to minus st into f of t dt over the limits 0 to infinity. In this definition, we replace f of t on both sides by number 1. So we have Laplace of 1 given by integral of e raised to minus st into 1 dt over the limits 0 to infinity. Integration of e raised to minus st is e raised to minus st upon minus s. Let us substitute limits 0 and infinity in t. 1 over minus s is constant term here, you can take it out. When you substitute infinity in t, we have e raised to minus infinity which is 0. When you put 0 in t, we will have e raised to 0 which is 1. Simplifying this, we have 1 over s. So we found Laplace transform of 1 is 1 over s. Now I'll show you how you can find out Laplace tra transform of any other number other than 1. Let's say Laplace of 5. So Laplace of 5 can be written as Lapla 5 into Laplace of 1. As it is linear, Laplace transform is a linear uh, operator. So you can take out that constant 5 and you will have 1 inside this Laplace transform. So this becomes 5 into Laplace of 1. And we just saw that Laplace of 1 is 1 over s. So I will replace this L of 1 by 1 over s. So we get 5 into 1 over s, which is 5 over s. So Lapl Laplace transform of 5 is 5 over s. Similarly, one can say that Laplace transform of any constant number a is a over s. I hope guys you understood how to find out Laplace transform of any constant number. Thank you for watching this video. Please do subscribe my YouTube channel for more such engineering mathematics videos. Thank you once again.